ever struggling with motivation to declutter and clean through life events or just through being in a rut, you are in the right place. In today's video, we're gonna be decluttering a slew of things from my living room space, the kitchen, my spare room, some clothes, and I'm gonna do some cleaning as well. So let's get into it. Admittedly, there is nothing more than I would like to do today than go out, but I have work to do. I've had this out for a while and I want to rearrange this room again <laughs> and I want to move some things because I know that when I put my hands through the drawers, I tend to find things that I realize, oh wait, why am I keeping that again? And I'd like to move the dresser to the other side. I'd like to use that as a plant rack. Oh God, this video is going to be all over the place again. doing a little declutter right now this is gonna be to donate and this is gonna be to keep the middle I'm just sorting through some swimsuits I'm gonna try to go through the dresser yep for now I rearranged the plants but I still have to put the screen back on so doesn't look like I took out very much I'm ending up with this drawer that's more or less empty there are bathing suit bottoms that mom and I both had I don't like them I don't like the color of the sweater, honestly. Some old pajamas of hers, an old scarf, cover-ups that I just don't like the fabric of. They're like bathing suit cover-ups. I've got this weird skirt that I thought I would keep because I thought, oh, you know, it's a little bit Y2K vibes because it's a low-rise skirt that goes up to the knees. I'm never gonna wear that. I've got a sweater that would only look good on me if I lost weight and when I lose weight, I don't like the way this looks because I tend to wear more fitted clothes. There you go, the sun is coming back in again. This set, which I feel kind of guilty about, but you know what? I'm tired of looking at it and never wearing it. It's a cashmere sequence top with a matching cardigan that only has sequins in the front. I don't like the way cashmere feels on my skin. It's itchy, it's uncomfortable, I get sweaty in it. Even if it's winter, I get cold sweats. No. There's a bunch of things here that I was just not going to wear ever i can just tell these pants i'm not sure i'm going to try them on i'm not the biggest fan of the elasticated waist like this but the last time i tried this on they were too big i've gained weight maybe these will work for me to go to the office and then when i lose the weight again i can just get rid of them because they're not my favorite but they might do the trick you know what i started to skim through this a little bit i don't want to spend the whole day decluttering I just want to take some things out, consolidate, and move the furniture along. I found so far these two shirts. This men's size small denim shirt belonged to my ex. He gave it to me. I wore it, but it's not my style. And then I have this one from Zara. It's actually cute. Like I like the fabric, but I don't like the color. And I know I'm not going to enjoy wearing this. There was something about button down shirts in the late 2010s they had a hold on me and my mom and we loved them they had a place in my style and in my wardrobe but now i just don't like this style at all even if this dress fit me now which it doesn't because it's too big i don't like this i went through the rack okay there are still some things this is what has to go it's either stained old looks like it won't fit it's not my style it still has a tag on if it had the tag i never wore it and i never will i am not even going to pretend that i know how i finessed this actually i do i got rid of some things that were immediate no's anything i was absolutely not sure that i wanted to get rid of i can get rid of it another time it's not the end of the world the point is i make enough room to do what i need to do i have got that clothing rack girl tell me how i was born so freaking creative please if i wanted to i could put a hanging plant here 
why not? Why not? Obviously, I need to put my curtains up. I'm gonna use the thinner, shorter ones again, and I need to make some macrame plant holders for this. If you are enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much in the algorithm, and it helps me know that you are enjoying these kinds of videos. The apartment is looking wild because I just spent the day declaring my makeup collection first and I, yeah, like priority was video making. I knew I could just bulldoze through this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of everything here. I actually did a bit of a fridge clean out. Like I finished my frozen fruit in my smoothie today, which was my lunch. I just went to the grocery store and I have compost 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 boxes full so i'm gonna take that out and put it out outside in my bin it's quite cold now so i'm not really afraid that it's gonna rot and be gross and i have all of this because it's all stuff i need to get out of my fridge so that's what i'm gonna work on first really quickly do the dishes take care of the compost stuff and i'll show you what it looks like I can't forget about these. Oh my god. I forgot about these. Put my potatoes there. Good to know that I only have two onions and the avocados. I'll leave them out there so that I don't forget. And my boyfriend gave me a couple more, but I actually didn't need them. I think he gave them to me because he didn't think he was going to finish them. Let's power through some dishes and recycling and trash. You know what else I'm decluttering? This. There's such a minuscule amount of soap. I don't need that much soap at my counter. Guys, there is a little to no feeling that compares to this. You know when you clean the counters, when you clean out your freezer, mind you, I keep a couple of props for my compost. The compost is actually empty, but I put in some paper to line it. Um, I do need to get some frozen fruit because I don't like to have my fridge empty like that. It's not exactly ideal. And I wiped down the fridge just a bit, put some things in, I'm good. Well, I'm cooking my potatoes now, and this is one thing that I did to downsize a bit in the kitchen. I got rid of these two bottles that were almost empty, so that's good. That is a box of electronics and random knickknacks that I'm decluttering. That is going to be the book box. It'll be really easy for me to go through some books in the shelf and see if I'll get rid of them. I am going to be decluttering all of these liners, pads, and tampons that are not in the box anymore. I consolidated them to this Ziploc just because boxes take up a lot of space. I just don't use them. It's been about 10 years since I switched over from the soft cup. And then a couple of years ago, I bought the Nexit which is even better than the soft cups. So I, I just really, is it Nexit or Nixit? And yeah, I, I never reach for these ever, ever, ever. So I'll just add those to the pile as well. I have just gone through my bookshelf and some books that were hidden and I've pulled out a lot of things that I wanna get rid of. Like I have a book on bathroom renovations. I'm not renovating a bathroom right now, and if I did, I would just look elsewhere. I've got a makeup book that I bought several years ago. I think for whatever reason, I thought I was gonna use this for inspo for like videos and things, but honestly, there isn't anything in here that I haven't seen on in like Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, so it's just like, it, I mean, it's nice for someone who's learning and who likes to look at books, but it's just, I don't need that. Um, then I have a slew of grammar, Bechrel, conjugation books. I have also 
a Chinese astrology book that my mom bought in 1995. She actually dated it. Go figure. I, for some weird reason, still had books that I was made to read in high school or in college or university that I would never reread. I took German in university because I had this idea that I was gonna go to Europe and do a mobility visa. Well, I'm over 35, that's not gonna happen, and I'm definitely not going back to learn German. Romeo and Juliet in French, I got this at a PR event, um, which was nice and everything, but I'm not gonna read it in French. This, along with Stephen King, uh, The Long Walk, I'm never rereading those. I read them in high school. Couple more textbooks that are really outdated from when I went to university and workbooks. I just don't, don't ever need these again. If you watched my last makeup declutter, you know I've been talking about decluttering nail polishes for a while. Well, I ordered something online and I have this spare box in this shape. I think I'm going to fill this up with as much as I can. Y'all, I just took a quickie shower, like a body shower, and I have been using this as a body moisturizer because I have so much PR, like I told you, and this is actually a nighttime cream. Sometimes I'm too lazy to put on a moisturizer, but this was my last use. Yay! And I also kept aside this whole bag of empties. I'm just going to toss them because I stopped tracking empties this year. I'm just about to take out my trash and my recycling and I found this in my shower. Listen, I have wanted to use this and I opened it today and it doesn't smell good. So I wasn't able to finish it before the smell went off. I had this sample of Aveda scalp solution shampoo and I finished it off. Anytime it's close to garbage day, man, I just like go through the house, try to pick up things that I can finish just so that I can get them out. I finished this room spray. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I also just finished the Juviance Restructive 3 Ruti Retinol Cream. It's a multi-action cream that you can use day or night. If you can recall, I was going through my nail polish and I didn't do it all uh, to fill up this box, but what I'll do is I'll just throw this in the trash. Excuse the hair, but like if I hold it upside down, look, it's completely dry. I'm not gonna go get the stuff to undo nail polish that's so hard that it's dried to this extent. I counted 30 nail polishes here, including this one, which kind of makes me sad. Do you know what color this is? You don't know Jacques. If you were an OG OPI lover from the 2010s, you remember this. This is not my first round of decluttering, but all of these are dried out. Like I wouldn't even try to revive them. And these are just colors that I know I'm not gonna wear or maybe the formula is not to my liking. That is just to say, this is not the first decluttering pile and it will not be the last. Because I still have to sort through these for duplicate shades and for anything that I'm pretty sure I won't wear. But these are nail polishes that didn't immediately jump out at me as throw me away right nows. Comment down below what you struggle with decluttering most or is there something that you struggle at keeping clean? I'm curious, I want to know if we have the same pains, and I will continue on this decluttering journey. If you would like to subscribe, I would love to have you here. I will see you in my next video. Bye!